Okay, so um, I'm going to do a little demo on how to create a basic face rig in Flash. Uh, <clears throat> for this, I'm going to just do a smiley face. Not much to it. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a circle. And convert it to a symbol. Make sure it's a graphic. I'm going to double click on this layer. And I'm going to just simply begin uh, by creating some of these things I'm going to need, like the eye, for instance, and each one will be on its own layer. I'm going to duplicate this layer, rename it, right eye, and drag it over. I'm going to do the same with pupils. Okay. Rename. And I'm going to create one more layer for the mouth. And depending on how you want to animate all this, um, really is up to you. Um, I'm going to show you a couple ways that I would probably go about doing it. Um, so, first things first, I'm going to give myself like some frames here to work with. And for the mouth, I could animate this with a shape tween. Um, it'll turn green. The pupils, I need to convert to symbols, so convert to symbol, R pupil, left pupil, convert to symbol, L pupil, and for these I'm going to create motion tweens, because I'm just going to have them move around, um, and yeah, um, as for this, I'm going to lock this layer this layer and this layer. And the only things that I'm going to be animating are these three layers. Um, I could also do uh, da, 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 da. Uh, left brow and duplicate that layer. And this could be my R brow. And if you haven't noticed already, I'm, in, I'm doing uh, a one large nested symbol uh, all within the smiley rig. Um, so then here, these I would have animate on motion tweens. Oh. Convert to a symbol. Name it. So now I've got all the layers I need to animate. So you could even do a mustache, you know, the same way. Um, so I'm going to use my free transform tool and if I had some audio, I would start animating to like audio or something for his lip sync or whatever. But um, just for now, I'm just going to basically just start. So now I've got some motion there on the mouth. Um, I 
and you can get some pretty cool shapes out of it. And it's really a pretty decent way to get some um, mouth movements uh, really easily in Flash. It's, it's a piece of cake doing it this way. Um, just really just forming the mouth out. You don't have to have a whole library of phonemes. You can just, just get straight to it and start getting the shapes you need for the phonemes. Um, Okay, uh, and I'm just I'm just doing some basic, generic sort of. Facial expressions. Okay, uh, and I'm all I'm doing is inserting keyframe using F six. So you can really get pretty much anything you need out of it. Here's like pretty much a sad face. Um, do just some really large mouth here. <laughs> Play it back. Okay, and now I can also do some movements, and I'm going to use the free transform tool for this as well. And the eyebrow. Uh, I'll go ahead, and I'm just using my free transform tool with motion tweens. Here we go. Woo. Just go ahead and just animate it however you'd like it to look. But this is generally basically, this is a really great way to sort of get some fast facial animation um, really easily. I actually like that look, so I'm going to keep <laughs> this look. Here, and this one, And you could even, you know, resize it if you wanted to. And the eyebrows do a lot to convey expression. So when we play this back, we got 
just some little things going on. Um, our pupil. These you can move simultaneously, which is kind of nice if you want to. Um, just make sure you're selecting both of them. And just a quick tip for you animators out there, um, pupils generally uh, animate very quickly, so only a couple frames unless there's something um, specific about your character when it comes to how his eye movements shift and move. Um, but generally it's only about a three frame turnaround from one I, for the pupils anyway, from one pose to the next with pupils. And pupils say a ton about facial expression as well. Um, okay, so I play it back. I got tons of animation there. Um, really quick to do. I go back into my scene one, give myself some frames. And the nice thing about this is here, with it all being one big large nested symbol, create a motion tween on this. And this is just to give you an idea of what is possible with this. I can go ahead and just start scaling it smaller. Move it around. And I'm not really trying to get any particular movement out of this. Um, I was just kind of just trying to show you some of the capabilities of what is possible. Um, and you see it all animates nice and cleanly all together, so it's a great way to get some really simple facial animation. Um, eyebrows, pupils, lip sync, whatever, um, and just some mouth movements and whatnot. Um, all done with shape tween, motion tween. So uh, that's all, all I got on creating a face rig. Thanks for watching.